Welcome to the DV12 podcast. DV12. What's happening out there, man? It's the boy Bird Daddy. It's your man Prince Mazzani. And it's your girl, Mom Claudia. Yes, sir. You're rocking once again with the V12 podcast show. How y'all feeling today? Feeling spectacular, you know what I'm saying? Marvelous. Moon, how you feeling? Those are big words. Yeah. You good? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, so I want to pop this off, man. I've been thinking about this for the past couple of days, man. And since we got people, because you from, you from New York, right? right. You're right. from Jersey, right? Right. All right, so y'all up top, man. Y'all taking a little ill, man. What's wrong with your boy, Diddy? Hey, listen, man. Diddy is his own person. I don't know what he got going on. Hey, he, he, did he, did he, he do it? He, he, got, some, he got some explaining to do. <laughs> Diddy got some explaining to do. Diddy might ask me going to jail. Yeah, you, you, y'all know what's going on, right? With the whole Cassie situation. Cassie, some other chick. Kim like, Porter. Kim Porter from 1992. Tupac. Tupac, because that's, yeah, Tupac. that's in the year. Ooh. They saying that uh, the bodyguard came out and said he, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Matter of fact, Diddy bodyguard came out and said he used to take him to Spencer's and he used to give the, the cashier a bag of money and he would come out with butt plugs and all that, which is crazy. Pause. What's up with this pause word? What? I, pause is a word that when you say something crazy and you want to, you know what I'm saying, let everybody know that you ain't on that type of time. But Cause you wanna, see, I, 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 you know I, 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 I want to jump back to this Diddy in a minute, but since you said pause, uh-huh. you know, y'all from up north, I hear y'all say that a lot. And you know, down in the south, we really don't even play that damn pause game like that. That's some, like, to me, to me, y'all say that when it's uh, when it's some gay shit supposedly right. said, but when we're down south, we don't have time to even be thinking about it. In my opinion, if you got to say pause, that means you have to constantly be thinking and looking for gay shit. And that means your mind is constantly on some That's gay shit. That's what I'm saying. No, pause. Hold on, pause. No. Pause. And that just means that you are. Pause, pause, pause. No, no, no. Listen, in New York, right? Boom. In New York. Okay. It's a bunch of people, uh-huh. and because it's a bunch of people, the city's moving fast, yeah. and a lot of people will get over on you. They'll say some shit, and you won't even know, you know okay. what I'm saying? They try to throw a slick one in there. And pause is like, hey, yo, pause. I don't roll that way, but you know what I'm saying? If you do that, cool, but pause. I don't do that. That's letting you know, chill. I don't play that. But see, from, from where I stand at, it's like this right here. Like, Let's say we in the club, and I get stole on. You know what I'm saying? I get my ass beat. Uh-huh. Somebody stole on me. I come back to you. I'm telling you about it. And I say, hey man, I got my ass beat in the club. That man hit me from behind. Pause. I, I, I shouldn't have to say pause. I shouldn't have to say pause. Because you know what I'm talking about. Right, right but I also know that if other people might be listening. They I might don't give be a thinking, fuck about them other people. You know what I'm saying? Have you, have you heard me say that? Does that sound, you gonna think I'm gay? Because I said that man hit me from behind. In context of me fighting. No. I'm not, I'm not gonna think you're gay, but it's funny. One, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? He was raised like this, but. It's funny because as children, we would make jokes out of no offense, but we would make joke. You know, it was, it was at a point people would make fun of people that's that's gay. I got a gay brother and yeah. a gay sister. Yeah. Like my sister, she hooping, she a fuck around and clap on you and all that. She play ball, but she yeah. is tight. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And then I got a gay brother. I say pause around them all the time. I don't give a fuck how they feel about that shit because I know I'm being funny or I'm just like nah, pause. You know what I'm In the sense of it being a game, I understand it being funny, but like. I done been down south, I, you know, I've been down south my whole life. I've heard back when people used to say no homo and pause, they'll say that to the wrong person and, and niggas get offended. Like, what you trying to say? You know I'm not even like that. So why would you even say pause or say no homo after something I said and insinuate that I should have said that? Like, they'll be ready to fight behind some shit like that. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, you got to do all that, girl, just you're, you're secretly on the down low. That's crazy. <laughs> That's you're not, secretly on That's... the down low because I have... I have gay friends, uh-huh. and they tell me if a if a straight man has to announce no homo, pause, whatever the case may be, if he's getting uncomfortable being around a gay person, you're not confident, and you don't you're not confident in yourself, and you don't know your sexuality. Okay, so, so why you gotta even go there? Because right, so if you're confident, confident and you 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 know your sexuality, you know you straight, you know you're not even thinking that way. Then uh-huh. why you gotta why So you gotta, all right, so boom, point blank, let's give an example. We in a room. Okay. Three gay men walk in here. I'm probably gonna walk out. Wow. Does that mean you gay? No, no. it's just you don't wanna be in that room. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say So I ain't gonna say no, so let me let me say this. I I, I say I said that impulsively and instinctively. I'm not gonna right. walk out. So that's what pause is. Yeah, I'm not just gonna instinctively walk out, but at the same time it's like so we we, we kinda but, jump. But, are you walking out because you uncomfortable? No, it's not. I, I wouldn't say I'm walking out because I'm uncomfortable. Let, 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 let me let me re, re, reset. If three if three gay dudes walk into a room that I'm in, 
considering whatever we in the room for, you know what I'm saying? If we doing business or whatever, that's that's one thing. Uh -huh. But if they start doing all this extra gay shit in the room, what is what, what is gay shit? Like extra over feminine. Just being and, extra over, yeah, feminine. I don't, I don't have a problem with you being gay, but so, if you started being flamboyant for no reason, and I'm in this setting, and somebody pull out their phone, they can record it, and they be like, yo, was I over there with these with these pause dudes? Wow. And I'm like, yo, I wasn't a part of that. <laughs> so so I'd, get up, I'd get up and walk out. No, but like, see, check this out, yo. I, I, used to have, I used to have a girlfriend, and she had a, like, a lot of gay friends. Okay. And, and, and she would bring them to the crib, and, it was, and some of them was like, like couples, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. And like one time we was playing cards and just drinking and shit, and these two niggas just bust out, start kissing, like start showing PDA public affection and shit right there. That shit made me fucked up. Like I, like, I didn't want to even be around that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, why is it making you uncomfortable? Because it's two but, niggas kissing. But if it was two women kissing, I mean, because that's I like, 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 that's like, 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 too bad bitches kissing in the back. But I like women. That's I don't something like you niggas. like though. Like so, it, it don't me, it's not attractive to me. Oh, oh, wait, like, but, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's something you you like, right? Yeah, women. But let's say, for example, there's a straight woman in the room, and she see two women kissing. And then she walk out the room because that's something she don't like. She got the right I to do that. that. I get she that. She got the right to do I, that. But, but in general, women are more like aesthetically pleasing than men. Period. So women will can can can, uh, can, be can, gay. can look at beauty in another woman and and think it find it sexy right. to see two women interacting with each other in an intimate way. I don't see how anybody finds a man attractive. I don't even see how you find a man attractive. Man, we net, we big and stank and sweaty and hairy and all this bullshit. I don't like, know about I mean, I, 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 that's a pause. That's a pause. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, not stank. I'm just saying, like, we we men, like, what right. the fuck is attractive about a man? Like, it's, it's uncomfortable. Right, period. Right, right. You see, so yeah, it, 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 it,
What? It's unspoken. Yes. Hell, every man what knows this. Is, what is Bro, every listen, man knows these are unspoken. You know in, like in the movies. In the movies. When the movie let out, it's all the niggas is in the bathroom. Uh huh. I'm not gonna stand next to the star where it's another nigga right there. Right. I'm not gonna do that. It's unless it's one of them like dividers, and I can kind of, you know what I'm saying. But if it's like right, right here, I'm gonna go in the stall, or I'm gonna just hang back and wait for right. it to be enough space. Cause you don't stand right Unless next to Unless I got to. Unless like, you really got to. If I'm to. drunk and I'm like, yo, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get cool. But, but same thing. If there's nobody in the bathroom but one person, you don't go to the one right next to the man. Bathroom energy. Yeah, it's like if that's I mean, but, all right, I got a question. But chicks can do that. Chicks can go in the stall with each other. With each other. Ooh, girl, she okay, pissing yeah, I'm that. pissing right in front of her, okay? Exactly. Ain't no, no man doing that. No, And no. if he doing that, that's crit pause, bro. Pause. I'm comfortable with myself, though. I'm comfortable with myself too, bro. I'm, I'm not about to pull enough. my balls out in front of no nigga. I'm not about to do okay. that. <laughs> it's not what I want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't never even really liked that train action, you know what I'm saying? When, when niggas I, did, I ran a train before. No, I did. I didn't like it, though. I was and like, the man, see, I'm going to be honest with you. That's not cool. It sounds cool in high school yeah, until you actually in the situation. Yeah, I don't want to see my, my homeboy and now he flopping around. I'm flopping around. Ain't nobody trying and to see And she switch and then yeah, that is shit. I'm like, whoa, it's too much. Yeah, it's too, too much meat in this room. That ain't right, bro. <laughs> Pause. Pause. <laughs> Crazy. So we ain't nah. Oh, hell, no. Back in my high school days, I was with the trains. I'm not with no trains yeah, right now. I'm nope. I'm too old now. Like nah. This is nasty. But back to your boy Diddy. Right. So do y'all think he really did all that stuff they say he did or not? Did he do it or did he did? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I think he did. Honestly, I think he did. Right. Did you he ain't know. read the. You didn't read like the. Uh, the lawyer stuff where Cassie said he blew up Kid Cudi's car and Kid Cudi's car, Kid actually Cudi got car really got blew up. Mm -hmm. That nigga is gangster. Really got blew up. Uh, I, hey, it was one that said he, that he dangled Wale over uh, over a balcony. Wale just came out and said that yeah. was true. But and I think Wale, said that. I think Wale said that. Would you yeah, I'll deny it too. <laughs> yeah, like they say, they say Diddy came in. They said Cassie was doing a song with Wale and Diddy. Was following her at private investigators. They were supposed to be sending each other the tracks and not be in the studio together. They was in the studio together, and then Diddy bust in with his security, dangled. They had a scuffle in the studio, and then they looked out there. It was uh, it was Shaq Lizzy was there. Shaq Lizzy and his people. And they said they looked through the uh, through the little thing, and they seen Wale's feet up like this. And they was dangling his ass over the thing behind Cassie. That's crazy. So he's hey. gangster and gay at the same time. Dang. Listen. How do y'all feel about that? Let's talk about that part. So she was talking about how Diddy had her fucking other niggas in front of him. How do you feel about that as a man? As a like, man? As a man. You had a girl and you had a fetish for... For watching your girl get fucked by that, a nigga that's not you. See, that's called being a cuckold. That's the yeah. word for that. It's called cuckold. And I ain't with none of that I'm shit. I'm not about that life. I'm not with none of that shit. Saying. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck him, then you can just go and go and be with him now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do y'all feel like that's gay though? I don't feel like that's. In order to be gay, that's you gotta be question. doing gay actus, activities. Like they say, you would jerk yeah, off. Yeah, what, what, what is it about watching a? That's no. Man? That's no different from watching a porn. You can watch a porn and jerk. I don't watch mad porn. I mean, but you doing that and you feel me in the private. That's like a live porno, no. but that's crazy though. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, but I'm not. That's crazy. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, but. I ain't gonna do it. I mean, you you watch it on a porn because you can't physically do it yourself in the right. Room. But if it's physically <laughs> right there in front of you, like why are you not fucking your own bitch? Some people got different fetishes. Yeah, he do got different fetishes. It is what it is, but I feel like I feel like you should just come on out and be be that. You know what I'm saying? But you do you think right with all this stuff coming out? Because Cassie wasn't the first, like Cassie was the first girl, but it was another girl that came after Cassie, mm -hmm. the rape stuff, right? Yeah. What y'all think he got going on over there with Carisha? <sighs> Oh, like, they got an NDA. Like, like, like. They got an NDA. Cassie had an NDA. She couldn't talk about nothing that would happen in her relationship until the NDA expired, which was this year. Carisha got an NDA for sure as well. Um, I feel like this is damaging to her brand right now, though. Yeah. It's very damaging to her brand because it already came out. She leaked it that, that, that he was pissing on her. Peeing on her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and, yeah. On the Carisha Please part. You ain't heard about that? And she said no. she liked it. Yeah, she, she said, said she, she liked, liked it. Go shower. Then she walked it back like a couple of weeks later when she started catching back right now, though. Yeah. It's very damaging to her brand because it already came out. She leaked it that, that, that he was pissing on her. Peeing on her. You know, if he's doing all that and all these other stories behind these wild parties that Diddy be throwing and the shit with Usher staying with him when he was 13. Okay. Justin Bieber staying with him when he was 13. Them weird interactions and shit like that, man. You know, Diddy, it might be Diddy Kelly out here, man. Right. Remember the podcast when he was on there with Fabulous and Jada Kids and he kept calling him daddy. Yeah. That's a pause moment. This is why pause was invented. Because he on podcast like... 
Hey, I like when you scream, but in the scraper like this, daddy. Yeah, that's weird. Why are you calling the man daddy? And yeah. I can't say pause? I, I, if you call pause. me daddy, like, I'm not even gonna say it, but I'm like, bro, why the fuck are you, like, you, you calling me? Like, why? Like, we, we might have to fight. And everybody was sitting there, like, so he, like, yo, Fab, why you want to party with your birthday, Fab? Fab, like, what you mean I did party with you? He talking about a party party. Yeah, Nigga, weird. pause! What is party party? Like, yeah, what are we weird. supposed to do? That's weird. What are we supposed to do? See, now you trying me. This is why the word pause is a bit. Or you're gonna get fucked up. Either I'm gonna fuck you up or I'm gonna say pause. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not saying that you gay, it's to protect me to let everybody know that I'm not with none of this wild shit he talking about. Cause he's calling niggas daddy. He motherfucker talking about party party. Like, nah, I'm not with that. Pause. Y'all think he had something to do with Tupac murder for real? You know, I, can't, I, I can't speak on it. I'm gonna speak on it. I think so. Because that Keefy D came out and ever since then, like, it, it, it's kind of like he got. His name was brought into that phrase. Well, Diddy got a lot of shit going on right, right. now, man. His baby mom's Kim Porter, she died. She came out with a tell-all book talking about how Diddy was gay and he, he was doing X, Y, and Z. He was sleeping with Usher. He gave Usher Herbie. She said this shit out of her mouth verbally uh-huh. in an interview. She ended up dead. Um, Russell Simmons' wife, ex-wife, Kamora Lee, yeah. her best friend was Diddy's girlfriend at the time. She came yeah, out with a tell-all right. book talking about how Diddy was gay, X, Y, and Z. She ended up dead. <clears throat> no. Dead serious. Look this shit up. This shit is really out there. You know what I'm saying? So, Diddy, you doing some wild shit, and now all of a sudden you call brother love, which is your alter ego. You trying to make like you love and peace, but nah, bro, you got years of doing wild shit to people, and now it's starting to come back. Mm-hmm. It's starting to, you know what I'm saying? Karma come back around when you suspect it. So, you think he was trying to escape some of his karma when he gave away, uh, gave everybody their publishing shit back? The, the publishing's expired. After a certain oh. amount of years, the publishing expired, and now they can go and sell. Yeah. yeah. Or somebody can buy them, or the artist can buy them, so it looks better. He made it, to he, be he, like, he put yeah. it out there like he gave it back, though. Them shit was expired. Wow. You gotta rebuy them shit. Like, I can have your publishing for probably like 20 years. Then after 20 years, they up for sale, you know what I'm saying? Mm. The artist could buy it, CEO, whoever could buy it, you know what I'm saying? But it looks better for my brand if I be like, yo, here, bird, here go your publishing. Yeah. Like, nigga, you ain't giving me, you could have given me that shit 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Uh, it was another thing I had seen, um, uh, uh, like, that came across uh, Benzino. Um, Buster Rhymes just dropped the album, Snoop Buster Rhymes. With his daughter? But Benzino, yeah, he, he shot a video with Coy LeRae. Mm-hmm. And uh, Benzino came out and he was like, yo, like, that's, like, basically saying that's disrespectful, how you a grown ass man and you on a, uh, uh, a video with my half naked daughter. You know what I'm saying? Benzino tripping. And uh, Buster, yeah, I feel like he's tripping too. And Buster was like, "Yo, we we've had interactions throughout all of these years. Um, you know what I'm saying? We've had uh, a, a relationship in music. Like you could have hit me up about that if you felt some type of way. Also, I saw the video. Number one, like it, they ain't grinding on each other. Right. Corey Ray is, you know, she's always half naked, but right. it's like they're not. It's not like that type of video. Like she's getting busy on the mic and all that. Like right. if I was Benzino, I would congratulate my damn daughter right. for that like, because not only does she look good in the video and she did it with a um you know a legend in the game as Buster but she's really spitting on that song like right. this is the first song I heard her actually like rap rap for real so for Benzino to come out and, and uh and say all of that to me it's like it gives some credibility to whenever Coy Ray says that her father is jealous of her. yeah I think he yeah, is he fucking is and his fingernails and he's big as hell out chasing mm. on his daughter his he's collapsing. His fingernails is fucking. I'm like Benzino. Like you, like this in the camera. Like put them shits in the back and then tell us how you really feel, nigga. Get the fuck out of here with big ass, exploded ass fingernails. That shit yeah. is crazy. But at the same time, it's like Benzino. How many daughters of some somebody's fault? You know what I'm saying? How many daughters that you done danced in the video with? Right. You know what I'm saying? Now it's your daughter. Now you butt hurt. Like no, get out of here. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just think he cloud chasing. He not on loving hip hop no more. He really, he's really not popping no more. He's trying to use his daughter's fame and and, and rising to to make himself rise. If he wanted to do that, he could congratulate. Right. All, all you got to do is congratulate. Like, bro, you're solidified in hip hop. Like you co-founded the bible of hip-hop the source you know what i'm saying you co-founded the source magazine that's the bible of hip-hop mm-hmm. like for a long time that is how we got our goddamn hip-hop i used to go to kroger right on broad river uh, st andrew road to get the new episode of the source to figure out who to listen to which album was good which album wasn't mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like the, the quotables in the back like that was benzino's you know that's his his thing you know that's his claim to fame so he doesn't have to clout chase right now. And on top of that, you have a daughter that's a popping star right now. Right. So you, you have two contributions to hip hop that are major contributions. Why do you have to clout chase by a goddamn down in your daughter? Right. That's nuts. And your daughter's following in your footsteps. You con- you contributed to hip hop so much that she's not contributed to hip hop, but you don't like her being half naked. So I got like, a question. Come on, bro. 
Do y'all y'all heard the rumors that Coyle Ray said uh, Benzino like she had to get food stamps and her mother was on welfare? Do y'all believe that? Being that he was just such a a big time star, like do you believe? I mean, she might be exaggerating. She might be exaggerating a bit. Like you never know nobody's personal situation. Like I, I've seen Benzino like in in person and, and, and know people who kind of know him. So I, I I wouldn't say that he's a big rich megastar in the past 10, 15 years. Coyle Ray's like what twenty one or some shit like that. Like young, young. Right. So I mean, it's very possible that after the source fell off, you know, Benzino was never like a big rapper. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have like a hit song. The biggest song he had. Was uh, I think Booty that used to play on <laughs> BT Uncut back in the day. How that shit go? How that shit Roll go? Up in the club on dubs. All I see is Booty. 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 Oh, booty. I remember bubble, that bubble shit. Bubble up, bubble up, bubble up. You know what I'm saying? That shit was trash. Yeah, it was trash, but it was you know it was on BT Uncut. Ass was shaking. You know booty. what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you was in the BT Uncut videos with somebody's daughter shaking mad ass and booty. Yeah. But you mad at your daughter now? Stop it. But that was like 17 years ago. The source ended like maybe 10 years ago whatever like so it's very possible he might have fell off and if he's not with his baby moms and he was sending money from the shit he was doing in the industry and that money dried up it's very possible that shit he might have you know might, she might have been on food stamps you know you know how i go as as a man and shit i don't know but i don't, I, I take some motherfucking food stamps it's free food i'll go fuck what you think i don't give a fuck how rich i am i will take food i will buy your food stamps if yeah. you don't want them i don't feel like <laughs> okay <laughs> hey, like, who's like, out of food stamps I feel like I selling. Buy your shit. I will buy food stamps, <laughs> but I feel like selling food stamps is completely retarded. Cause food, you have you have to eat. Right. Like food stamp, food is not optional. Now nah, everybody but, has to eat. But check it food out. Food stamps is actual money, really. It's money. Check you got a hundred dollars in food stamps, and you're gonna sell it for fifty dollars. Nah, That's like look, taking a hundred dollar nah, bill. Nah, and nah, 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 I don't care. Some care. chicks be having five kids. They get a thousand out of the food nah, stamps. you better find. Five, no, you better find another way to get another. Find another way to get some money because food stamps is actual money to me. It's a debit card with money that you can only use at the grocery store. Listen, but I'm, you need groceries. I'm it's a not an option. Advocate. It's not like a gift card to Best Buy that you can sell that for like half price. You know what I'm saying? Because you might not need a new TV, but you need food. If you got a thousand dollars, you better just save it until you need it again. Listen, that's like giving away money. I, I just don't understand I'm a food that. I will buy it. Though. Advocate. I will definitely <laughs> buy it. Yes. You're gonna How buy you gonna buy it? How you gonna buy it? You gonna sell it? Hey, you gotta take advantage of opportunities, man. Oh, okay. That's what if somebody's gonna thinking. be stupid enough to give me a hundred dollars and all I gotta do is give them fifty dollars, then I'm gonna goddamn give them fifty dollars and take a hundred dollars. You could have bought a hundred dollars worth of food stamps, but you didn't. Now you got fifty and I got a hundred dollars worth of food. Bird wild the fuck out. Y'all selling food stamps, hit me up at Chris Bazzani. I will buy them shit on and off camera. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you were saying something about um your friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How girls be acting, like how girls be feeling when the dude in the room and they know the dude like the girl and you know what I'm saying? Your friend. Remember your friend? Oh, yeah, my friend. What? Remember, we was supposed to be talking about it off camera. You were saying you saying something like you could tell when a nigga ain't getting no pussy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I, I can tell when a chick ain't getting no dick. That's a good topic. When How can you tell when a chick ain't got no dick? I kind of want to hear this. Boom. I pull up to a chick. Boom. She's sitting there. A uh, friend right there. Yeah. I'm not even talking to you, miss. Like, I'm talking to her. Hey, ma, how you doing? Whatever. I, I, you know what I'm saying? What you, what you want to drink? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my name is Zani. Boom, boom. Uh-uh, girl. I don't even. Nobody was talking to you. Mm -hmm. She don't get no dick. She's hating automatically. That's I know she's having a wingman. Because, because you got to have a wingman. You got to have, have a wingman. No. Like, why are you hating? You don't even know me. What am I trying to say, ma? Bum ass nigga. That's, what I'm That's crazy. For. I'm a That's bum. What I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep you at bay. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like, divert your attention over here it. with a power play. You can do that after we finish. Since he got a fucking afro. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <crazy. laughs> <laughs> that was on the blue Chris Don't afro. Play yeah. Blue Chris had an afro yeah. just like that. Yeah. And all the motherfucking women. My shit is like some of these bitches ain't even got an afro. They got weed. Hold on, what's on it? Put it up. Say it. Go ahead, say I'm it. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> 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 I don't got no way. How far I knew what she was telling me to say? <laughs> hey, you do look like that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on.
Oh, that's the right hand. You gotta put it right in the pause. The right hand. Right hand. Right hand. But right. yeah, that's when you can tell when a chick ain't really, you know saying she hating. She thinking out. Okay, she thinking well, too I can much. tell when a nigga ain't getting no pussy. How you can tell? Just by looking at his ass. <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like I feel like when, when niggas ain't getting no 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 buns, they they go so hard to make it seem like they is. You know what I'm saying? They go they go so hard to make it seem like they they, they gotta skirt the girls off and like they that nigga and this and that and the third. Or their friend would be like, yo, remember that time I lent you five hundred dollars? Like, bro, what some, the yeah, fuck? some shit like that. Like, like, some shit, that. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, is yeah, that we'll, be, we'll be around some girls and shit like that. Hey man, hey, you still got that um, you still got that outfit I let you hold the other day? Like yo, not the outfit, not the outfit. Hey, and when you gonna give me back my shoes, bro? I'm always letting a nigga hold my shoes. <laughs> like that's <laughs> like, why are you even saying that? Yeah. That's how you know a nigga ain't getting no yeah, butt. Yeah, you're doing right. too much. That's you're doing too, too much. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Lame as a world fuck. But yeah, sometimes you gotta take one for the team with a hating ass friend, even if she fat. Or ugly or something like that. You gotta take one for the team. You gotta throw the alley oops. Yeah, you gotta. I take ain't taking one for the team. I don't took. That don't mean you gotta take them down. You just you just distract. I'm not take. I'm not I'll distracting take them down. nothing. I'm taking one for the team. I'm taking them down. Uh uh, down. home girl. That's you. Go talk to that person. I'm about to go around the corner. I'm about to go mind my business. <laughs> Cause I'm not doing that. You're gonna take him. You're not gonna just entertain him, real No, quick. I'm not entertaining you. That's why. That's why you gotta uh, have I'm the right not. have the right wing mate. The, the stars and planets got to be aligned, man. Cause I, I I feel like me personally, like I, if I got to entertain uh, the home girl, like I'm an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I, I'm I'm gonna know what to say. I'm gonna know what to do. I'm gonna pick up her vibes, and everything gonna go smooth. You gotta have the right wing, man. You know what I'm saying? I never needed one. And I just like talking to people, to be honest. Like I might entertain a friend just to be laughing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just so later people be like, yo, nigga, I told her X, Y, and Z. You're like what? Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm knock her. I'm gonna knock her down though. I ain't gonna knock it down. Time. I'm gonna knock her ass down. <laughs> Big blocks and all. I'm big not, blocks. I'm What's big down. blocks? Big blocks. Yeah. Oh, y'all know the big block is. No. A blockbuster. Oh, a big block is one that's a BBW. Big, What's that? A big back. She got a big back. You know what I'm saying? She might have a, 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 a gravitational pull. You know three hundred pounds and better. Yeah, three or better. You know what I'm saying? It was this big chick named Kool Aid Down. <laughs> 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 It's not that now, man. You know what I mean? I had to take him down through there. You know what I'm saying? He got to do that. He's all the snacks for the industry. You know what I'm saying? Cupcake got a new Twinkie coming out. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? For my dog. Because he had a nice one, but she had the big friend. And, you know, you want to keep her company and make her feel good. You know, I feel like I'm a handsome. I feel like I made her feel good. Like, I feel like I'm a handsome gentleman. You know what I'm saying? I was fresh at the time. You know what I'm saying? I was smelling good. Yeah, I made her day. You know what I'm saying? I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm on my, hold on, I'm on my cabinet shit. What are y'all talking about? Look. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, what happened to Nick? What happened to uh, Brothers boycott in the NFL? What happened to that? That bag, man. I mean, after a while, you got to get that bag. I mean, it's money. After a while, that black power shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, it's <laughs> you gonna be, it's the, I mean, it, it, it got to be real, like, it got to be real movement at, at the end of the day. It has to be real change, real movement. Something has to actually happen. I feel like, like, kneeling and all that stuff is good, but, you know, they uh they brought Jay-Z in as a, as a symbol to, uh, to to do the, like, the music portion or whatever he's doing with the NFL. And, um you know, they, they started letting people, like, do certain things and, and have some more urban, yeah, have some, more yeah, so they did something. I was thinking about this shit the other day around that George Floyd shit, though, man. Because like, I was thinking about how uh, how how comical it was that when George Floyd got killed, um, they just it's like they said, here, black people, this is what we gonna do for y'all. We're gonna change the names of the fucking syrup. We're gonna take Uncle Ben off the box. We're gonna stop black people from doing no, they, cartoon they, they, voices. Like they did all this bullshit instead of actual goddamn. You know, actual change and shit like that. I, I don't know, man. It's just something I was thinking about, man. That's crazy. But yeah, we gotta wrap this thing up. You know what I'm saying? It's a good episode. I definitely appreciate y'all coming in. Well, we gotta have you back. Man. Yeah, you, you might have to come back on us. You kind of lit, man. We gotta have you back on the podcast. Bro. And tell us how you know how. You know what I'm saying? How I know how what? Man, we gonna say that for another. <laughs> this B12 podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in. This your boy Prince Mazzani. Bird Daddy. Yeah, girl, I'm on Claudia. You know what I'm saying? We out. Yeah, sir. E12 podcast. Woo! Hey. Team number one podcast in SC. V12. 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 V12.